Sacramento New Home Much. I just got the book a few days ago, so I'm quite unfamiliar with it. Sacramento Nihonmachi. This journey to early Sacramento Nihonmachi begins at the Southern Pacific Station on I Street. Street a short distance from the boarding house where we stayed on occasion during the time we lived in Loomis. Actually, I don't remember ever going inside this station. It was rather forbidding, enclosed within an iron fence and gate. But I was always conscious of the trains coming and going day and night whenever we were at the boarding house, Nankaya, a haven for folks from the Wakayama Prefecture in Japan. Nankaya, Nankaya was run by a family from Wakayama who were related to my father. We were always put up in a room by the front window on the second floor. This was a choice room reserved for relatives, but it was no different from the other rooms for families and permanent guests. Bachelors and migrant workers who stayed between harvests in the winter were housed in the basement. I have three vivid memories from the boarding house. First was the horse-drawn ice cream carriage that came several times a day. I don't remember the ice cream so much. We were rarely treated to it. But I can still hear the tinkling bells so distinctive and tantalizing. Next was my first taste of peanut butter. One morning, the boarding house manager held up a paper carton box and announced that he had a wonderful new product called peanuts of butter. <laughs> he spooned a generous portion and told me to taste it, which I did. I thought it tasted rather odd, uh, but not at my approval. Then there was the chow mein. There were many Chinese families living on I Street, and many businesses, mostly underground. Sometimes we placed, placed an order for chow mein from one of the restaurants. Soon, a Chinese waiter would march in, holding a platter of chow mein high above his shoulder. I don't remember the taste of the chow mein, but I never forgot the theatrical waiter and the delicious aroma of the high street charming. That was magical for me. High street seemed a, long, a world away from the Nihonmachi, which was centered on the street on Hell Street between 3rd and 4th. Loomis is about 25 miles east of Sacramento, Nihonmachi. My parents ran a fish mar market grocery store, and father made weekly buying trips to Sacramento. Sometimes in the summer when school was out, I got to go with him. Father tended to favor places 
run by fellow Wakayama folks, such as Sakiyama Gross, a dry goods store, which was on the corner of 3rd and M Streets. That's where he bought a pair of heavy coats for my brother and me. Those coats were the bane of our childhood. I suppose they were good coats, imitation leather, which was impervious to the rain and lined with warm sheepskin. The problem was that when it got hot, the coat tended to smell like sheep. No more like sheep urine. The real problem was that no one else in school had such a coat. We tried to lose them, but someone would always find them and return them to us. And they were absolutely indestructible. The only solution was to outgrow them, which we finally did after many agonizing years. <laughs> My father used to buy gift items at Yorozuya on the corner of 4th and M Streets. My memory of that store is that Mr. Okada, the proprietor and an elder of the Kendo fencing group, once presented me with a prize for winning a few marked matches at the Kendo tournament held at the Buddhist Hall on O Street. The prize, nicely boxed and wrapped, was a tenugui, a ta or tao. What was special was that my name appeared in the Japanese section of a community newspaper for the first time. Whenever we went to Sacramento as a family, it was our custom to have noodles at this hole-in-the-wall noodle shop. I think it was off of an alley. There were five of us, but we ordered, always ordered six bowls of tempura noodles, and the befuddled waitress would look for the extra person in our party. Of course, there was no such person. The extra bowl was for my mother, who always had two bowls. This remained a standing joke in the family until late in her life, when she lost all interest in noodles. Our favorite place was the New Eagle Drug Store